Um, so now we will talk about what are the need of content writing samples. In a few, um, in brief, we have discussed this in uh, previous videos, but let's just understand a little bit more about what is the need of content writing samples and how is it going to help you um, in achieving better freelance offers. So guys, once you've learned everything about content writing, if you are a fresher specifically, you always keep thinking that how can you showcase your work? Because even if you are a fresher, a lot of time it will happen that when you apply somewhere, they will ask you, can I see any of your work samples? So I always suggest people who are absolutely a fresher, after completing your course, please apply for internships. You can easily get it from LinkedIn. There are a lot of companies who offer free internships. Okay, they don't pay you. I'm not asking you that do it for entire year, but at least two months time you can give. And that is going to give you hands-on experience. And you have no clue that how much confidence it will boost for you because you are working real time for a company. And they will also give you, obviously, the experience certificate of the internship that you've completed. Plus, whatever you will write for them, you can treat it as your samples. Apart from that, any other samples as well, you can write. I mean, it's not necessary that... It's only when a client will give you anything to write and that is the only sample that you can use. You can create your Instagram account. You can post something out there daily. In LinkedIn account, you can create your blogs professionally. Okay. And you can mention all of these in your resume, the links. Okay. You can have your own websites. You can decide a niche and you can just blog. You can obviously start creating blogs. Even if it is not getting very famous initially, but write at your best, okay? And that website link can be treated as a sample. You can create that whole portfolio. If you want to create a separate portfolio, that also you can create on genre portfolio or you can create it www.googlesites.com. That is absolutely free, okay? You can create your portfolio very easily out there, mention about you, who you are, what you have done, Okay, write it like it should look like it is a writer's profile. And you can also um, put some sort of um, infographics that you create for social media. Okay, or maybe recreate any page, recreate any sales um, page, recreate any copy, any famous brand like May, Maybelline, any copy that you're seeing on social media or anywhere else, recreate it. Okay, recreate it your way. And you can put that also as a sample. Whatever work that you have done as a practice, okay, just make it a little better. And that also can be presented as a sample so that somebody knows that you work. How this sample helps apart from your knowledge, okay, when somebody asks you that how should we believe, how is it that your um, abilities are going to help us, and this and that, you can just show that, see, I've got such great passion towards writing. I've got such great passion towards this work. And I keep working. And definitely, if I will get an opportunity, this is going to help me and help you as well. Because I would be that passionate writer. Okay. And anyways, if you are uh, experienced, then I don't have to tell you that how creating samples and creating your portfolio can help you. Okay, what are the types of writing pieces, blog posts, okay? If you don't, uh, for some reasons, you cannot have your own website to write blogs, you can write it on many platforms, medium.com, uh, HubSpot. There are a lot of platforms wherein you can write your blogs as a guest blogger as well. That also you can include that this is where I write my blogs, okay? Long, long form of web page copy. You can create, if you have never got an opportunity to write any web page copy, if you just create it as a sample work, just imagine that there is this web page copy that you are supposed to write and, you know, as a practice work. And you can include that also. Content for social media, I have told you. Recreate any content. If you are a fresher and you've never worked for anybody, you've never written for any social media platform, then create it. Create your own social media page. I always say as a writer, you must have your social media page as a writer only and keep on creating. You can mention in the bio that this is my sample work page. 
and recreate any of the brands that that you see recreate that post it is always the best way to learn also recreating something that already exists okay scripts of podcast and videos video scripts as well you can write okay so these are the pieces ebooks just think about any topic that you really know well and you can research about it just create an ebook on that even you can publish your ebook on kindle.com very easily kdp amazon it's absolutely free publish your ebook there and if you can just post that link and put that link in your resume that's going to be one of the best uh, you know a resume in comparison to the rest of the people the here are some examples you can see the linkedin profile has been mentioned okay uh, this is one of the blogs that somebody must have written this is the medium blogs the medium.com that i was telling you so you can just put in all of the work that you do wherever you have posted wherever you have written just create it professionally and present it as a sample that just really going to help you uh you know being outshine in the crowd of the rest of the people okay who have got nothing with them and they are like you know i'm just a fresher don't ever call yourself just a fresher that i'm starting you can just say that fine i'm starting um you know in this career because i've always been passionate about it and i've got this high ambition of becoming absolutely successful in this and maybe my knowledge is less but gradually once i will start working then only i will get knowledge further i'm always keen on learning and how you can prove this that you are saying by showing them that even when you were not earning you've really taken care of your profile to present yourself guys you are in a market wherein the way you present things that matters even if there is nothing inside and you know this really well in the market you would have bought a lot of things of high price and just because they're looking very tempting maybe they're not they're, 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 the performance is average okay but you still buy them so everything that just looks shiny it matters i mean fortunately unfortunately but that's the industry and gradually you should always obviously keen on learning because you can't deny the fact that people are not fool nowadays when they read something if they are not finding it useful they would never come back to you ever again okay hello all welcome once again now again we will just recap because i'm sure you all will have um, already completed this seo basics because seo writing has been already uh, cleared in initial modules so just to recap understanding the basics of seo so that uh, you don't forget these points how is it that you can take care of search engine optimization and make sure that your website or the website that you're working for that you are writing for is actually ranking on the search engine okay so obviously first thing you would target the keywords you would work on link building which is organic links optimize landing page content that is also important we have already understood what are landing pages then you will take care of um, getting reviews on your website and also you will see that how much user friendly your website is if you are mentioning too many things on your website and it is not user friendly they have to really struggle a lot in order to get all the contents of your website in the navigation the visual consistency is not okay. So there are a lot of things that impacts a user experience and that all has to be taken care of. Then SEO is as well of two type, on-page SEO, off-page SEO. On-page is something that's directly impacting the, um, that is directly impacting the ranking, which is the keyword research, the structure of your website, how are you going, the layout of your website, the site map creation, images, videos that you post, okay? the meta description that you write everything matters when it comes to on page seo and when it comes to off page seo then blog posting your promotion services the rest of the marketing um, pr distribution forums participation services social marketing social uh, book um, marking services article submission services so other than on page seo there are factors that just um, affects the uh, you know website that just affect the website ranking indirectly as well and they are all off page seo there are other elements of seo that is anchor tests anchor text is 
you know, when you're reading one content and you are just adding a link, okay, of some other article to it. Like if you can see in this example, if you're looking for a fresh idea of daughter's birthday party and you've already done the princess party and bouncy party, bouncy house, then why not to try cookie party this year? So now if the person will cl click this, that person will get to know about what is cookie party exactly. So there is a place that can help you with that. So if you're writing blogs and you're adding um, text, anchor text like this, then this can really help you. Okay. After this, apart from anchor text as well, there are some other factors, which is URL. So URL, if you are making it, um, you, you are making it user friendly, like whatever is the niche of the website, you can choose your URL as well. Somewhat similar, if it is technical, then tech for you or um, mystories.com, something like that, something that is more personalized. Then meta description. Meta descriptions are those descriptions when you search something and in the front page of Google without clicking the content, you get to know what are you going to get inside it. So meta description should be so tempting that the person should feel like opening it. Okay, so here are the differences between on-page SEO and off-page SEO. On-page SEO includes all your content, keyword selection. We have just discussed about it. Everything that's directly impacting the ranking of your website. And off-page will, will include your link building, your referrals, um, link popularity, uh, link exchanges, okay? So this also helps in the ranking of the website, but it is known as off-page SEO, okay? Off-page activity is just 30%, while major, major work for website ranking is done by on-page SEO, which is 70%. On-page SEO looks at what your site is about, and off-page SEO looks at how popular your site is getting, okay? And that also, of course, matters. What are the impacting factors of on-page SEO? Mobile-friendly, it should be navigation of the website, which is user-friendly website. What is the quality of your content? Meta descriptions matter. Okay, core web vitals matters, images matters, title tag matters. Okay, how much you have optim optimized an image that matters. And off-page SEO elements are social media, backlinking, referrals. Okay, all of this matters. So this is again, what are the techniques of off-page SEO? Contribute as guest authors, social media engagement, social bookmarking sites, forum submission. These are all the techniques of off-page SEO. Okay, the indirect one. And on-page SEO, publishing high quality, something that is direct, that's just there in front of the eyes. Using right keywords, URL optimization, internal links, external links, headings, subheadings, in fact. Okay, all of these things are something that you need to take care while optimizing on-page SEO. Okay, so that will be it. Next, we will figure out something about creative writing and how you can make your creative writing much more easier and how you can exactly practice. Hello all, welcome. So we have learned creative writing in depth in creative writing uh, module already. Now here we are going to understand how can you strengthen your creative writing? Um, how can you exactly make your writing really strong? At times we really face issues with the fact that we've got so many ideas in our mind, but we are really not able to pen them down. Or we are like, what to write? And you know, there is a lot that's there in your heart, but you're not able to just put it forward, okay? First of all, guys, always remember that there cannot be any rules when it comes to figuring out that how best you can write. You need to figure out your own ways. A lot of people, uh, think that the best way in order to strengthen your writing is to write on the same day, same time every single day, okay, um, which I don't agree. If it works for you, please go ahead. But for me, it's like whenever there is any idea that comes to my mind, any word, any phrase that just stuck in my mind that just hits me, you know, that just makes me feel different. And I'm like, yeah, I should write something about it. Any topics, just generally any idea, theme, something, whatever comes in my mind. Okay. I just immediately note it down in my mobile phone so that I don't forget it. And I make sure that today I'm just going to figure out time and I'm going to write 
about this topic or I would definitely use this particular word in my story today. So if you are able to figure out time on a particular, I mean, you can create a schedule for that, please go ahead. But otherwise, I think you don't have to really create a schedule out of your rest of the works that you are doing throughout the day, just figure out some time wherein you are just sitting alone. Yes, you are not distracted by social media, by your mobile, so that somebody is calling you during that time and all of that stuff. Just start writing with that one word, okay? Or any word, any object that's there in front of you, any best person of your life, first start writing about you, everything about you. Why? Because your brain will have to you know work less because you already know about you about your life about people in your life okay and keep writing without thinking without editing whether i'm right wrong this is good this is bad you don't have to worry as far as ideas are there in your mind and your hand is not stopping please keep writing and this is free writing keep writing and you will see that after some time just leave it as it is Come back in three, four hours if you have time. But if you don't have time, come back next day and just read it once again. And you will see that you will start making changes in that. You will start editing it yourself. You will start adding, deleting whatever you have to. And ultimately, you will create a good story out of that. Okay, that is how it works. Another practice, if you really want to do after this, whatever story you already know, you watched it on TV, you watched it somewhere else, you read it, please try to switch the characters. Now write that story from someone else's point of view, any other character's point of view. If the story was sad ending, please change it to a happy ending. If it is happy ending, try to change it to sad ending. Or any story that you would have watched, you're like, no, I think I could have added something else or maybe something is missing. Maybe it would have been better this way. Try to write it once again. Just see, can you write it or not? That is one of the best practices that you can give. And if nothing at all, you can change whatever favorite movie, series, anything that you've watched recently and you really love the story and the characters, please rewrite that in your own words. If a book can be converted into a movie, then even a movie can be converted into a book, isn't it? So just take it that way and rewrite all of it. You will see that even if you are copying the story, it's a it's a different story that you've created all together. There are a lot of writing prompts that you may get. There are a lot of websites. They keep on giving you writing prompts on daily basis. There are a lot of applications as well. You just have to see writing prompts. If you will type in the search bar, you will find a lot of applications. They will give you writing prompts on daily basis on which you can just write, okay, on that particular topic. So if you just keep doing all of this and practice every single day, there is nothing that can stop you from becoming a good writer. Write a fake advertisement. I mean, write everything that's just random. You don't have to be very specific. You know a person, write a biography of that person. You write about your mother, write about your father, write about the your school days. What is that one day that you could have changed in your life? Okay work on characters at times pick up characters from any particular movie the character that you really like pick story from another movie mix them together have fun with it and that is when you will see that you know you're just doing great with it it takes a little while but it's just that your brain will be in habit of thinking thinking and thinking and ideas will pour okay so try blogging there are a lot of websites they you know, they need uh, guest bloggers, okay? Write on their websites just for the practice purpose, okay? Don't leave any opportunity that you can use to practice. Write the story you can't stop thinking about. There are a lot of stories that you see on Netflix, Prime, and you're, you, you're kind of lost in that story for a day or so. It is so impactful. Try to write it. Try to write point of view um, about whatever stories are coming up in entertainment industry, how they are nowadays, how they are different from the stories that you used to previously watch, how uh, children life has been completely changed when it comes to entertainment industry. Okay, whatever ideas keep coming, I always keep noting them down in my mobile phone. And whenever I'm putting them down I am sitting and I'm like you know now I need to write I always try to include all of those ideas in my writing that ways it's just going to be it's like you will not forget it 
Okay, so try all of these techniques that I'm telling you. Make research a part of your writing routine, yes. I mean, once you kind of practice enough, please start researching. Start researching about one kind of genre. And guys, to write perfectly, reading should also be included in your routine somewhere. You can't just miss it, okay? If you really love writing horror, at least read a few horrors written by different writers. Watch a few horror movies. If you love mysteries, do the same. Okay? And then try to write it on their own, on your own. This is also one of the way to write better. You can't exclude reading from your routine in case you want to be a good writer. Develop a daily writing routine. Whatever you do, if you don't want to um, abide by certain rules, but at least you need to Figure out certain time, whether morning, evening, noon, whenever um, out of your daily schedule that I need to write 10 lines or 10 pages, doesn't matter. Try writing your first half with a pen and paper. I mean, I don't know. It works. It has worked for me. Um, in spite of typing, I've always preferred writing with pen and I don't know why it has always been better in comparison to typing. Okay. You see your way. It's just that it should be comfortable to you. It should be fun for you. Creative writing is fun. It's no other burden. Spend time alone with your characters. This is one of a very fun activity. I mean, the kind of character you really want your readers to have fun with, to just get connected with. You should also get connected with them first. Just see how realistic they are. Find a select group of trusted script reader to critique your work. Yes, you can join such groups on Facebook, Instagram, you will find all of these new writers who are just, you know, just started to write like you. Send them your script, send them your story and ask them to critique your work as in to review your work, not just good uh, points, but also critic means that you should be ready with some sort of negative feedbacks as well. Make it constructive for you. Okay. Or even in your Instagram account, you can post your story and you can just ask people to give their reviews, what best you think you can be done. Or maybe you've written a story halfway, ask people to just finish this story for you. Do it. People will do it. Okay. And that way you will increase engagement and followers as well for your page. Okay, guys. So this will be it for your videos. I hope you will just try to do that. Okay, and you will also be benefited with these techniques, if not all, but try to at least follow a few.